welcome back to another video. I am so sorry for the two day delay. We were kind of busy. Um, but anyway, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple survival house. Um, that is one, that is one right there. I was, um, well, I tried to do this video on a busy day, but it didn't work, so that's the, uh, thing I did that day. <laughs> And basically the thing we're going to do again. So, anyway, yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh, let's see. Now, first we're making the bedroom. So, and the bedroom has to be at least three by three. If not more um, blocks. In a square. There we are. And then, don't forget to make a space for the door. And then, we're going to place. I mean, and then, we're making the crafting room, which has to be at least 5 by 6. One side of the bedroom wall longer so I can put so I can use it as a as one wall for each room uh -huh. then I left space for the door right there and now we are going to make the enchanting room, which will have three blocks in between the crafting room. So, one, it'll have space for a door, and two, you, it can be a hallway um, with a bunch of rooms, with rooms on either side of it. So, we're gonna do one, two, Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna have to break this. Um, and then one, two, three, four, five. Space for the doors here. Here we are. There's the enchanting room. You have to at least do it that big, if not bigger. Can't break anymore, so let's break. And so we can't break anymore, and then. Now, we're going to make the brewing room, the potion room. <laughs> It'll have to be at least six by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, this will be, that is the long side, I think. And this is the short side, just as you did the other rooms here yeah. 
Um, Looks like proportional. <sighs> Definitely unproportional. Let's put all the doors on the um rooms here and We are going to be actually going to um lengthen this bedroom so these will be the same length like that. There we go. Um <laughs> and then remove the beds over here so the so the doors don't open and um there we are. The then we're going to put the things in the crafting room. Um, in here. Then we're going to make three stack. A uh, stack of three double chests on either side like this the one to make sure at least one block um if not more is between the um top chest and the ceiling so you can open it like that then you could you could like label put labels on the uh in between the chests so you can know what is inside of the chest of the chests now we're going to put a fur could put put furnaces here I might end up moving those furnaces, like in between. Now that one works, and I'm making, I'm using labels. So, and then you put the crafting table right there, and then we are done with the crafting room. Um, and now we're going to do the um enchantment room. We're going to get some bookshelves. Uh, I forgot to get bookshelves. Um, and. You're going to put one like this, then in a row here, oh no, like that, and then, hmm, that, no, hmm, I don't think this is going to work. We might have to make this a bit bigger. I think so. It's supposed to be 15 bookshelves, and I do not think this is 15. Um, that, um, the, uh, uh, the back, the back row is supposed to be, it's supposed to be three. There. So, I think we're going to have to make the scenery. Bigger. Yeah. I'm putting the anvil here. Then. Yep, yep. I'm gonna have to make this bigger here. And then Um, that is a little weird. We'll fix that later. And actually, I might keep that. Because it's a lot 
cool, honestly. Now I put the crack the enchantment table right there. And now it has it is pow being powered by the bookshelves. See those little symbols um going down to the book. <coughs> those are the symbols. Those that is the symbols of the language that the enchantments are written in. <sighs> Alright, so now we're on to the potion room. We're going to put chests. Put one stack, one three tall stack of double chests here. Um, let's put that like that. And then over here, we're going to make our infinite water well. Just put the water in the diagonal corners, the water will go still, and you'll have water forever. Now, we're going to find a spot for our nether wart farm. Um, hmm. Could I put it next to the water? Hmm. No, no, I'm gonna put it over here. Now, nether wart can only grow on soul sand. So, if you're in survival, you're going to have to go to the nether to grab some nether wart and soul sand. Um... <clears throat> Um, and let's grab some grass and put that in like that. And then we're going to put the brewing stand right here and there. Our house, the, um, or the majority of it at least, the uh, rooms of our house are done. Um, so, and then you can build up the walls, you can make a ceiling and a roof, you can do all that nice stuff, you can add, um, rooms, you can add other rooms to make it feel more homey, like a living room, a bathroom, and a kitchen, all that, all that, um, nice stuff. You could even buy a furniture texture a furniture pack in the marketplace to make it more realistic all right that was my video um for today um um i did hope you i hope you uh enjoy um and we'll see you next time bye and good night